Hey, Lauren, uh, I found it really interesting that you talked about this because, you know, I'm getting ready to make my uh, two-year YouTube anniversary uh, video on the 10th. Uh, which, it's not really my two-year YouTube anniversary, it's the two-year anniversary of making videos that I actually thought were kind of good on that Regis kid. There's lots of nuances involved. Anyways, I've been making videos longer than that on another channel and stuff, but, you know, regardless. That, those videos that are still up on my, on th that Regis kid, the ones on my middle school channel, they were actually really bad. Um, and, and so, with that, you know, I actually had a lot of harassment come from that. Like, kids in middle school were like, you know, whatever. I mean, I didn't really have, like, a lot of friends to begin with, so that didn't really help. Uh, but it was basically just dismissed as weird kid doing weird thing, you know, in middle school. But that, that's whatever. Uh, when I came to high school, though, I actually had a group of friends, and so I was actually putting something at stake by making videos. Um, so it was kind of weird. I kind of kept the secret at first. And, you know, the main one that I did at the beginning was, um, Regis is pissed off. And in it, I was acting like I was really mad about something that I wasn't really mad about. Um, but when the kids from school ended up seeing it, they were, they were really awful about it. Because I was, like, the only kid in school, or just about the only kid in school making videos. They actually, one of the uh, few, two other kids making videos, one of whom was never found out at the time for making videos, which is Connor. And the other one was Tim, who was also kind of never found out, but also didn't really share them because he didn't want to share them, but for, for good reason, because the kids were terrible at the time. Um, but no, so I, I was the only one who was really, you know, publicized about it, because I, cause I let it be out there. I didn't try to hide it, but I didn't, like, publicize it. Um, so, so, kids were like, that's so dumb, why would you do that YouTube thing? Haha, that Regis kid, you named yourself that Regis kid, that's so funny, you know. Uh, but over time, shortly, as I continued to do it, they kind of were like, okay, yeah, this is his thing, you know? Everyone has a thing, this is his thing, you know, whatever. And I got better. I got better on YouTube, and it was kind of, you know, it's it mostly a hobby for, like, the majority of my time on YouTube. It's just something that I did for fun, whatever. And then all of a sudden, partnership was, like, suddenly a thing that, you know, I mean, there's partnership before, but, like, it was suddenly a thing that, like, wait, like, people, like, realized, like, wait, you can do partnership? That's what, uh, Regis, how much money are you making? And I was like, well, um, to be honest, through Google AdSense, it tells me that, you know, over the next couple months, I should have enough money for like a hundred dollars. And they were like, "Whoa, that's the, the actually lucrative! Wow, we should get into this." And then a lot of kids ended up trying it and failing miserably because they didn't know what they were doing because they hadn't done it before. Uh, whereas I was like, "Eh, you know, this is cool." Anyways, uh, through YouTube, I actually found out what I want to do for my career, which is going to you know film, potentially TV, but for now it's mostly film. I actually just applied. I actually just you know committed to college, which is Emerson College, which is in Boston, so that should be fun. I'm going to college next year, for film, and the only way I would have known that is by doing YouTube, and making myself get better, and the only way to get better is to keep going, and because I guess, also, another great thing about YouTube, it's taught me not to care too much about what people think, because before, I was, I had really, a lot of social anxiety, and, you know, I really cared about the opinions of other people that they had of me. And so, if someone told me that what I made was crap, that, that sucked a lot. Um, but, you know, I eventually learned that no matter what I make, people, someone's going to hate it, someone's going to me, tell me it's dumb. So, I better make it just to like it for me. And I, if I think it's good, that's great. That's, that's good. That's good enough for me. And so, I stopped caring. And my life was a lot less stressful as a result of that. I mean, I didn't stop caring entirely. Like, there was, you know, there was a select group of people that I do care about and care of what they thought of me, but like, is it, like, you can't please everyone, and that's something that I would have, would have not learned had it been for this kind of stage that I'd given myself. I've been talking for four minutes, wow, that's crazy. But yeah, um, so yeah, YouTube's great, I'd recommend it for a lot of people, even if you're not planning on going into like film or TV, um, because it really helps you figure out who you are, um, and helps you not be stressed. A, because you have an outlet to talk about stuff. B, because you learn how to deal with people who are just awful, and they're going to be awful no matter what, and you're going to have to deal with that at some time. So, learning how to deal with it in a way that's, you know, YouTube, it's, 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 I think it's pretty great, and I would recommend it for most people, because most people have a thing that they are passionate about. If, if you show that on YouTube, it will co go through and you, you could do a really good job. If, you, if, you're, if you're really into something, I think you can, and you apply yourself enough. Which you will, because if you, if you love it, you want to do it. 
you should do well. So, yeah, basically, what I'm trying to say is, uh, you, regardless of YouTube clashing with real life stuff, it, 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 I think it, it was really helpful for me, and I've yet to see a case in which, uh, except for like the Jesse Slaughters of the world, which she was just dumb. She was dumb about it, and she didn't know how to handle it. So, uh, frank, frankly, I think she was too young. Um, but you know, so I, I would think that it's a great thing. And if anyone makes fun of you, it made it funny before. They're probably like lacking direction. And a lot of people, it's kind of crazy. People used to make fun of me for like, oh, that's what you're gonna do with your life now, YouTube. You see that so cool? I was like, yeah. And then, and then now, yeah, I'm doing film. So, and they're all like, oh, I guess I'll do business for college. So, it's kind of funny because they they now don't know what they're gonna do with their lives because they spent all their time pointing fingers and haha, your thing's dumb, your thing's dumb, your thing's dumb, and now they don't have a thing. So, that's good. Yeah, rant over. Good. Bye.